Several talents from both WWE and AEW react to Tony Khan's tweets about Jinder Mahal and the World Heavyweight Championship on Raw this coming week. Plenty of details on that. Plus, could we see some surprises tonight on AEW Dynamite with some talent returning and possibly one talent making their debut with the company? We'll let you know about that. Oba Femi is the brand new NXT North American champion after winning the championship last night on NXT. Can we expect to see former AEW World Champion MJF on Dynamite tonight for the homecoming episode from Daily's Place? A brand new AEW World Championship could be unveiled this evening. And speaking of new world titles, the brand new TNA World Heavyweight Championship is unveiled. Hey guys, welcome back to Wrestling News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, uh, plenty of news stories to get into in the world of professional wrestling. Let's start off talking about Tony Khan's tweets last night and the reaction to them from both WWE talent, AEW talent, and also those who have been staunch critics of Tony Khan in the past. Now, AEW president Tony Khan has often said that he is a wrestling fan first and foremost, and that he approaches wrestling from a fan's perspective. Khan's focus on win-loss records apparently isn't limited to All Elite Wrestling, as Khan has been keeping tabs on the wins and losses of WWE superstars as well, including that of former WWE champion Jinder Mahal, who will wrestle Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship on next week's edition of Raw. Now, obviously, this caught a lot of people discussing this last night and certainly created a lot of controversy and created a stir on social media. If you're not familiar with what Tony Khan said regarding his tweets last night, the first was regarding this. He said, quote, a double standard hook 28 and one career record on winning streak calls out the champ. A logical challenge sparks online outrage. Jinder has literally lost every single match he's in for the past year. Immediately gets a title shot. Where is the rage? Hashtag AW Dynamite tomorrow on TBS. Now, not satisfied with just that outburst, he then responded to a, I guess, jibe at him by the USA Network in response to a tweet regarding uh, the Jinder Mahal and Seth Rollins match that Raj Giri posted out. USA Network had posted, what was the cage match rating? Referring to the original match between Seth Rollins and Jinder Mahal back in 2012 for the NXT Championship to crown the inaugural NXT champion. Tony Khan saw this and decided to hit out at this as well. He said, quote, A moral victory for USA is one win more than their world title challenger Jinder Mahal has in the past 364 days because it's literally been a full year since he won a match. You really put AW in our place getting Jinder Mahal in a big match on your TV show. Do it more often. Now, certainly, Tony Khan's tweets didn't go unnoticed, and we had a lot of reaction, not just from fans, but also people within the professional wrestling industry from both WWE and AEW as well. One was from Corey Graves, who posted Jinder Rules, obviously referring to Jinder Mahal. We then had a retort, I guess, from Dax Howard of AEW saying, Hook Rules, AEW Dynamite. We then got the this post from the modern-day Maharaja himself, that being Jinder Mahal, which which he subsequently deleted, but he said, Who the F is Hook? Watch Monday Night Raw on USA Network Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, it must be said, as I mentioned, he did post this, but he subsequently deleted his post. Now, we don't know particularly why he decided to delete it, but nevertheless, he uh, deleted the tweet. Um, he would seemingly think better of the entire situation shortly thereafter as he deleted the tweet and has not commented on the situation further. Um, nevertheless, certainly, he did actually put out a response that isn't a made-up tweet. That is something he did post, but eventually delete. We then had the father of Hook, that being Taz, post the following, just saying Hook. And we also got some back and forth regarding not only Tony Khan, but also Eric Bischoff himself. Now, Eric Bischoff, as you can see right there on the screen, decided to quote tweet Tony Khan's initial tweet regarding the double standard by simply posting the clown emoji. Tony Khan responded to the former WCW president by posting this gif saying, Get out of my sight, you miserable has been. Now, that wasn't enough, though, for Eric Bischoff in the evening because Bischoff quote tweeted uh, another tweet that was put out there saying, Tony forgets that he literally gave Abaddon a title shot after being off AEW television for over a year. The exact same situation as Jinder. 
to, uh, Eric Bischoff quote tweeted this and said, Hey, Tony Khan, is this true or is it a bot? Tony Khan, not being one to back down from a challenge, responded by saying, No, Eric Bischoff, not true at all. Abaddon returned to AEW and then they won a four-way match on TNT against other great wrestlers to earn a title shot, which is completely different than someone going a full year losing every match they're in and getting a title shot without a single win. So I suppose the big question is, what do you make of all of this? What do you make of Tony Khan's initial tweets? What do you make to the reaction to them from AEW talent, from WWE talent, from Eric Bischoff? What's your reaction to all of it? Should Tony Khan just leave it be? Is Tony Khan trying to promote AEW Dynamite by doing something that Eric Bischoff would do? And that's controversy because controversy creates cash. Or should Khan just leave his phone and social media alone? Let me know your thoughts and your reactions to it in the comment section below. Now, some news when it comes to AEW Dynamite tonight. Of course, it's the special Dynamite Homecoming edition of the show on TBS. It's going to be uh, taking place in Daly's Place in Jacksonville, Florida, where they, of course, perform throughout the pandemic. The show will feature the Callis, Don Callis family's powerhouse Hobbs and Kanosuke Takeshita facing off against Sting and Darby Allen with Ric Flair, along with Claudio Castagnoli versus Hangman Adam Page, among other announced matches. Heading into the show, of course, there's been rumours running rampant that Mercedes Monet may finally be making her much-anticipated debut with All Elite Wrestling. Now, Fightful is reporting they have not heard anything to indicate that Monet is backstage for tonight's Dynamites, but her appearance had been previously discussed internally. While Monet may not be in the house, they confirmed that former AEW World Tag Team Champions and AEW Executive Vice Presidents, the Young Bucks, are at Daly's Place this evening. Now, the Bucks are not alone, as several other people who have not been around the promotion recently but wanted to be on site for tonight's big show are as well. Now, already announced for the show is new AEW World Champion Samoa Joe. We are going to talk a bit about the AEW World Championship later on, so we'll save it for that. But just in reference to Tony Khan's comments last night and his tweets on social media and all that kind of stuff, it was also noted that Tony Khan's posts about Jinder Mahal, Hook and WWE Raw and tonight's Dynamite were not being heavily discussed backstage as they were last night on social media. As I mentioned, for those who missed it, Khan responded to a social media post from the USA Network joking about the cage match rating for a previous match between Seth Rollins and Jinder Mahal. In Khan's response, he declared Mahal as the number one contender to Rollins World Heavyweight Championship due to his lack of matches over the last year and how the modern day Maharaja had not earned it. As mentioned, Mahal did respond, but he later deleted it. So there are some surprises. Not been suggested that Monet isn't going to debut tonight on Dynamite, but she hasn't been seen or hasn't been reported that she's backstage or anything like that. But it could be kept as a surprise. Now let's talk about NXT last up. We got a brand new NXT North American champion. There is a new champion after WWE superstar Obafemi cashed in his NXT breakout tournament contract for a shock title shot. After Dragon Rit Lee returned to NXT this week, he was faced with a first surprise contract to sign from Lexis King. Dragon Lee was shown speaking to Ava outside Shawn Michaels' office when Lexis King slid up with a pre-printed contract for a North American title shot tonight. In an effort to be a fighting champion, Dragon Lee accepted the challenge for the evening and immediately signed the contract. In a bit of foreshadowing, later in an interaction between Lexis King, Obafemi, with backstage interview Kelly uh, Kansain, Obafemi seemed to have an idea. While Dragon Lee was able to successfully defend his North American Championship against Lexis King, out came Obafemi with his NXT Breakouts Championship Tournament winner contract. The contract, which entitles him a Money in the Bank briefcase style immediate title shot, an NXT champion of his choice, indicating that he was challenging Dragon Lee for the North American title, a referee joined and the match got underway. After a back and forth battle and Dragon Lee already worn down from a first match, he lost after a big powerbomb and Obafemi is the brand new NXT North American champion. What are your thoughts on Obafemi becoming the North American champion? What are your thoughts on the angle? Is it the right move? And do you think Dragon Lee is now done in NXT? Let me know your thoughts about that as well. Now, we spoke earlier on about AEW Dynamite this evening, about names that possibly are backstage in the Young Bucks. But what about the former AEW World Champion MJF? Well, the last time wrestling fans saw Maxwell Jacob Friedman in 
inside of an AEW ring was at the World's End pay-per-view on December 30, where he lost an AEW World Championship match to Samoa Joe and lost his title in the process and was attacked by his former best friend, Adam Cole. But could MJF make his return on this week's edition of AEW Dynamite Homecoming, the special episode from Danny's place in Jacksonville, Florida? Unfortunately, for those who lovingly refer to MJF as their scumbag, they will have to wait at least a little longer for his big comeback. According to the latest report from PW Insider, Friedman is about 1,500 miles south of Jacksonville on vacation in Costa Rica. He's not expected to appear on tonight's broadcast. The new report follows recent speculation on the status of MJF's AEW career ever since he was removed from the AEW roster page. While the details of MJF's contract situation remain unknown, it seems unlikely that the uh, All Elite Wrestling would give a year-long world title reign to a wrestler they didn't have signed to a long-term deal. What is known is that MJF is reportedly taking some time off to heal up from his recent injuries, including a torn labrum that could put him on the shelf for at least six months. However, in the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave Meltzer noted that the former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion is hoping to heal his shoulder through rehab rather than surgery. While fans won't be seeing MGF at Daly's place, they will be seeing other stars, including Sting, Darby Allen, and others this evening. Now, speaking of MGF, he's a former AEW World Champion. He dropped the title to Samoa Joe, and this evening on AEW Dynamite, we could be seeing a new version, or at least an updated version, of the AEW World Championship. As I mentioned, at AEW World's End, Samoa Joe defeated MJF to win the AEW World title. During the post-show media scrum, Joe revealed that he planned on getting rid of MJF's Triple B title and coming back with a brand new bout. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select provided an update, noting that there was discussion of debuting the new AEW World Championship bout on tonight's homecoming edition of AEW Dynamite. All Elite Wrestling has already announced that Samoa Joe will return to TV on this evening's show, so it seems he will have the new title bout with him for the broadcast. The report notes that there were several cosmetic changes that were made to the title belt, including the side plates, and also when it comes to the logo in the middle, having a bit of a black backing to it as well. Of course, once we get any confirmation on this and images, we'll let you know in a future video. Finally, speaking of new world titles, the brand new TNA World Heavyweight Championship has been revealed ahead of the rebranding this weekend at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view. The new TNA World Heavyweight Championship bout has been revealed ahead of the company's upcoming rebrand from Impact wrestling impact wrestling is no more with the company now just days away from rebranding back to total non-stop action wrestling over the past few days the company has been revealing the new tna championship bouts and today it was the turn of alex shelley and the world championship Taken to social media, TNA President Scott Demore presented Shelley with the new look TNA World Championship ahead of his upcoming defense against Moose at Hard to Kill. TNA's first pay-per-view since its rebrand, Hard to Kill, is set to take place on Saturday, January 13. The event will see current Knockouts champion Trinity defend her championship against Jordan Grace in what couldn't end up being Trinity's final match before a potential return to WWE. But there you go, guys. This latest pro wrestling news for you. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll speak for you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.